Welcome to Gossip About Gossip, powered by Hedera Hashgraph. In each episode, we'll cut through the hype of blockchain promises and explore real-world examples of organizations creating the next generation of decentralized applications, which will bring trust back to the internet for us all. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the latest episode of Gossip About Gossip, the podcast where we talk about real-world applications of distributed ledger technology. My name is Zenobia Godstock, and I'm the SVP of Communications here at Swirls Labs, helping to grow the Hedera ecosystem. Today, I am delighted to be joined by Steve Todd, who is with Hedera's newest governing council member, Dell Technologies. Hi, Steve. How are you? I'm good, Zenobia. Thanks for having me. Good. Well, I, I I think nobody needs an explanation of who Dell is, but for our community, can you just introduce yourself and tell us a little a bit about your role there? So uh, my name is Steve Todd, and I'm a fellow at Dell Technologies, which is really a, a path for individual contributors to grow in the company. Uh, I work in the office of the CTO. And our job is to really look uh, at forward looking or emerging technologies in the tech industries on behalf of Dell and our, and our customers in order to best prepare our customers for what's coming in the tech industry. Great. And, you know, Dell is one of the most trusted names. I mean, organizations use you for a wide variety of things. I know, you know, most people, the, the hardware comes to mind, but can you give us an example of the other kinds of technologies that you all bring to the market? Sure. Well, my background is actually, I arrived at Dell through the ac uh, acquisition of EMC. So, you know, Dell has that trusted brand, uh, well known among consumers, uh, but once the acquisition of, of EMC, they also brought another trusted brand, which is a lot of our infrastructure that runs in data centers, in the cloud, on the edge, that sort of thing. So not only do we make, you know, the highly visible consumer products, but Dell also manufactures a lot of the infrastructure and data protection plumbing that runs uh, the internet, basically. Yeah, you have you have your hands sort of across organizations and and throughout the enterprise. And so what made you decide, you know, hey, this is the time for us to join the governing council of a blockchain? Well, I think there's two reasons, really, Zenobia. The first one is, as I mentioned, um, we have a lot of infrastructure products and our customers are increasingly moving from centralizing them in one location to distributing them across multiple locations, whether it's multi-cloud or whether it's edge. So we believe that a, a distributed ledger will be a, uh, a critical part of the architecture for edge computing. Uh, we need some sort of a trusted, multi-party way to communicate business transactions. And so Dell is increasingly in exploring distributed ledger technology and Hedera has that enterprise focus that we really liked. So that's reason number one that, that we decided to join. The second reason is that our customers are increasingly interested, experimenting with writing applications that run on distributed ledgers. So uh, for us, when we join the council, right, to actually implement a node, right, a Dell server running on the Hedera network will gain valuable experience that we can and then turn and share with our customers and help them on their journey to use distributed ledgers. Yeah, what better way to really jump in and understand what it takes. Um, you, I want to go back to edge computing for a bit because I think, you know, that means different things sometimes to different people. So, um, you know, when, when I see, for example, you know, something in my local store or, you know, when I always, I always think of the extreme of the edge, right? Like a, a server or something on an oil rig out in the ocean. Um, what, what kinds of ways are people thinking about edge computing, you know, across your customer base and exactly how distributed is that? 
you know, there's probably seven or eight different verticals, right? At least that are really growing with edge. Transportation is a great vertical. Retail, as you mentioned, going into a store. Uh, medical is another one. And they all have this um, characteristic that data is being created far away from a data center and it needs to be processed and handled immediately in a trusted way. And all of the, the thought leadership, all of the intellectual property, everything that we've built up in the data center, right? Somehow all that trust needs to make its way out into those regions or those locations where the data is being manufactured. So we think that there, there is likely a distributed ledger nearby somewhere that can help with this trusted processing of data. And that's why uh, we think distributed ledgers and edge computing is such a strong match. Absolutely. And, you know, you talked about the experience that you will gain from running a node. What other kinds of things or ideas do you have in terms of how you'd like to engage with either other governing council members or, um, you know, play around with the technology or engage with uh, other applications that are being built on the network? Well, I think the, the biggest thing we're excited about in working with all these other council members is that they've already gone through the process of installing an enterprise class trusted uh, server in their infrastructure and got it running, right, for a specific use case. And it may or may not be edge, right? So when we come to the council and we begin to uh, collaborate with and, and work other companies like a Boeing or an IBM or a ServiceNow or a Google, we'll gain this visibility into, well, what kind of applications are they running? Because we'll, we'll bump into those customers. Uh, there, there probably will be Dell customers trying to solve those exact same problems. So we, we tap into this uh, rich network of use cases that are already in flight, already have a lot of thought put behind them, and that can accelerate solutions for our customers, which is something we're really excited about. Yeah, and I think that's a pretty unique opportunity, right? I mean, being able to share that learning and, um, you know, not, o not only be a part of the council and running a node, like you said, but also understand, gosh, ServiceNow may have applications or concerns that, you know, are, are going to be um, similar concerns that you're going to see across your customer base. Right. <laughs> And when did you all first start? You know, I know, I know Dell has done some other things in terms of decentralization of data. Um, how far along do you think you are on your journey there? Well, I would say that we, uh, we recognize the intersection between distributed ledgers and edge many, many years ago. And we began to work on technologies to solve problems. And we decided to open source some of those technologies. So, for example, we open source something called Project Alvarium which uses distributed ledgers to track trustworthy data in edge environments. So we believe now we can experiment uh, with Hedera as one of those ledgers that can track the trusted movement and processing of data in, in uh, all those verticals that I just mentioned earlier. Wonderful. Well, Steve, we are certainly excited to have you on the Governing Council and to have your participation and your expertise in this area. Anything else that you would like to share with the community or with your other fellow Governing Council members before we wrap up for today? I'd just like to share with the community, uh, we've already got a glimpse of what you're working on. Uh, we've already started joining your meetings and, and meeting all of you and looking forward to uh, further collaboration with Dell. Well, fantastic. We hope to have you back on soon as you continue your journey. And thank you so much for spending some time with us today. Oh, thanks for having me, Zenobia.